What is up guys? Asylum Gaming back with episode 5 of my Modern Skyblock 2 Expert Mode Let's Play. So, I did a lot off camera. I built a lot of things. But I wanted to bring you back right now because I got something special here in my mob chest. I got sugar. I got two sugar on top of that. So, um... I can automate this mob farm a little bit better. And I'm going to do that right now. I've built all the stuff that I need, I think. Um, I'm going to empty this out here. Uh-oh. Actually, a creeper blowing up wouldn't be the worst thing. Is there a skeleton in here? No. So, I want to talk to you about all the stuff that I did off-camera. I'm going to go ahead and throw up some... Let's get the F7 going here. Boom. No, I can go further than that. There. Okay. Let me go grab some more torches. So, all right. Let's talk about some of the changes I've made to the base here and to my tools. Mostly, I, uh, I added smite to my blade here. And I'll go through the math a little bit why that is a good idea. First of all, it's the only modifier I can really afford right now. It's uh, consecrated soil is made from graveyard soil, and that's from rotten flesh, bone meal, and dirt, which I have plenty of all of them. So I fully loaded 24 out of 24. Uh, if you look here, 24 out of 24 smite. I can add another level smite too, but um, it takes another modifier, which I'm not sure I'm ready to spend yet. Although I might. I don't know. Um, okay. So, what else did I change here? Oh, that's right. I was going to get some torches. I added a lot of chests everywhere. Because now I can afford it. I also made some more uh, tools here. Let's, get, let's just get to the mob farm part. Because that's the important bit. I'm going to bring some bricks. Um, I don't know... Hmm. I want to see if these spikes are transparent or not. Because if they are... That makes this a lot easier. If they're not, we can work around it. Uh, let's put something out there. And we want to replace these, these four, with um, hoppers. Now, something cool you can do here, if you have an oh, empty hand, you shift right click on a chest, you can actually pick it up and move it. Oh, how good is that? And what's interesting is how, how full the chest is de determines how um, fast you carry it. So see this? See how slow I'm carrying it, even even with sprint on? That's because this is the full chest. But if I come over here, I can run pretty fast with this one because it's empty. So that's that's I love that. I love this feature a lot. Okay, let's put that back. Boom. Now, I know that these hoppers are not uh, opaque. So light travels through them, which ruins the mob farm. But... Oh. Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's put these underneath them. So at least that light's not getting in. There we go. Um, okay, now, question. Since I can't... I can open this like this, but the, the chest and the hoppers are all transparent blocks. So it's letting light in um, completely there. So let's go ahead. Let's put these on here like that. I'm going to come around this side. And put them on here like this. There we go. And now, if I just block that off, and I block this off, no, these aren't transparent. Or these aren't opaque. So they're letting. Oh, wait. Maybe they're not. Hold on. Ah, haha, ha, they weren't. It was the chest. Okay, cool. So, let's see. I can work around that. Let's go here like this. And I can still open the chest, get to my stuff. Um, but it's not letting light in. Actually, I don't need the corners here. And actually, can I make these half slabs? Because that would be really nice. Uh, let's just test it with these two. Yes, I can. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now put those there. 
and I guess put this here like that. Does that look good? No, it doesn't. It doesn't look, it doesn't look good at all. Wait. Oh, I figured it out. I'm trying to do this without going back and making more slabs because I'm lazy. Boom. That looks passable. Okay. Well, anyways, so um, keep those there. We have two extra stone bricks. Now, what I want to do, I also want to test out something else here, and that is conveyor belt placement. So normally, oh, you know what I forgot to do is smelt up the stone for the conveyor belts. Uh, vector plates. Vector plate. It's two per, and we're making two crafts, so I need four. Okay. Easy enough. Um, okay, so quickly, the vector plate recipe requires a slime ball, sugar, iron, and stone. The slime ball you can get from rice. I made rice slime balls, so we're going to get two of those. It's a pain in the ass to get... Oh, I built a farm, as you can see. And I also finished off the grass over there and did stuff over there, so I'll get to that in a second. But basically, the way this farm works is I have one plot for every type of crop because I found in the past on this mod pack and others actually the way I get my crops is I grab some plant matter like this I come over to the one I want like rice or something and I just spam click that so I have a whole field of rice but I don't need it because I only spam click on the one and I just get it that way so I decided one plot per crop so I don't have to keep making more thing and then I just if I need one of them I just head over here and I grab some bone meal or some enriched bone meal or whatever and I just spam a lot and get as much as I can so that's my plan for this farm anyways I'll show you how to make the rice slime balls it's a huge pain in the ass so you need a mixing bowl and a mortar and pestle um, both of these recipes are fairly simple More mortar is just smooth stone around a stick and the mixing bowl is that same recipe but with wood instead of stone planks instead of stone so see easy so what you do is you take um, crafting water and you take rice and you go mixing bowl mortar and pestle crafting water with rice on it and then it uses up the crafting water so you go get another one just like we did with the, the zombie jerky and you get another set Do I have three more rice I don't. Give me my spammables. So, cool. I'll throw that away. And I will. There we go. Make two of that. Now, you have to put these four rice dough around a water sort. Now, does crafting water work? I don't think it does. If it does, that's the way to do this. So let's make crafting water. I know bucket plus these don't work. So if you do this, it doesn't work with fresh water and it doesn't work with bucket water. So the only thing it works with is water bottles. Did I get rid of them? Maybe I got rid of them. I shouldn't have. Oh well. They might be over there in the mob farm. Or in here. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter. Um, so, we go like this. Just fill up some with water. And there you go. Rice slime balls. Awesome. So, let's see. I went over the consecrated... Okay, so then I have to tell you about the time that I cheated. I cheated a little bit. I'm sorry. But I was sitting here fishing. Fishing, fishing, fishing. I got all these fish, and I got... Uh, one of each type of sapling. It took me four hours of fishing. And I, I mean, I wasn't paying attention to it. I was sort of watching YouTube and messing around. But I was just sitting there fishing and it finally got um, all of these types of saplings, except I only had three dark oak. So in the interest of saving myself time and sanity, I just gave myself the last dark oak sapling. But if I had fished for another, you know, however long it would have taken, I would have had all of it. So... Whatever. Um, <laughs> I I don't I don't feel anything. I don't feel any guilt about this. I'm good with it. Okay. So over here, let's see. Do I still have, do I have stuff in here? No, I don't. Good. So over here, I made a bunch of copper. 
Yeah, that's pretty much... I've let this run. I'm going to turn it off because it's annoying. Um, so what, what I did was I came to these saplings. And what you do... Uh, let's pick a acacia sapling. And let's get ourselves a plant matter and grow it. And so what you do is you take a grinder. A stone grinder. How much durability? Three. Perfect. Um, a compressed grinder actually works a lot better, but... Um, this works too. It just feels very like weird when you are breaking things. Okay, so you grind the leaves like I was just doing with a grinder. And that gets you uh, the uh, gardens. So the gardens are over here. I have all the different types except for arid. Arid gardens go on sand. Here, I'll show you. Arid garden. Arid garden is from uh, acacia leaves. And it goes on sand instead of dirt, and it only drops cactus fruit. So I broke one, and I made a cactus fruit here, and uh, that's that. I'm not going to worry about those any at all. Um, but yeah, so if you grind... Oh, let's go look at the different gardens. I'll tell you what sapling they come from. So if you grind the leaves of a dark oak, you get shaded gardens like these. Tropical gardens come from jungle saplings. Soggy gardens come from oak. Uh, frost garden comes from spruce. And windy garden comes from birch. So those are your different uh, types. So um, you'll see something interesting here. Um, have I eaten? Yeah. I've been eating a lot of different types of foods. Because if you eat 50 of them, you get another heart down here on your heart bar. So um, that's good. Try to eat different things. It'll tell you, too. It'll say, uh, assisted in adding hearts. See how that, in the gray? But if I say something like, well, whatever. Other foods say, uh, not eaten yet. So, okay. So I have all the different types of garden. What do we do with them? Well, we break them, and they turn into uh, different types of food from Pam's Harvest Craft. These different crops all come from these different gardens. So it's interesting. I planted these, uh, what, one, two, three, four windy gardens. Um, but this windy garden here grew next to them. And that's what happens with all of them. So if you plant one shaded garden or one garden of some type, they actually spread slowly across your, your field. Um, it's really slow, though. And I would suggest that if you really want uh, multiple gardens, just to grind them from the leaves. That's way faster. It's 25% chance of getting them. Way faster than waiting for these to grow. I mean, I planted these maybe six, seven hours ago. And uh, that's the first one it just grew. So it's not really worth it. Um, yeah, so just the thing that I'm going to do with these is look for... I'm looking for two crops in particular. I'm looking for beets. Uh, what was that? Did you hear that? Whoa. Okay. All right. We're dealing with some. <laughs> we're dealing with some heavy stuff here. So I'm gonna break these. I was waiting for you guys because it's like a pinata breaking these. And I'm looking for beets. And I'm looking for um, what's the other one? Uh, peanuts. And I think peanuts come from these. So let's see. We got wheat, onions, bell peppers. Nice. We got chili, barley, and another wheat. We got potatoes, corn, and another bell pepper. Cool. We got lettuce, another chili, another barley. Come on, peanuts. Carrots, parsnips, and cotton. All right. Well, that's okay. I can... Now that you've seen how this is done, I'm going to farm the hell out of all of these. Um, so my inventory is filling up quite... Oh, we got beets. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. And I'm just going to plant all of these. Um, so all you do is you just put each type of food into your crafting inventory. I'm going to put beets on the outside so I can get to them. Parsnips. Uh, broccoli. Why not? Uh, peas. Yes. Let's do it. Chili. I'm just going to do one. Oh, it did both. Fine. Uh, oats. There we go. Cotton. There we go. Uh, I have carrots. Lettuce. And corn. And I have potatoes, barley. There we go. Uh, bell peppers. Okay, onions. 
Yay! So our farm is starting to flush out a little bit here. That's good. I'm going to put the rest of this stuff... What is that? Oh, yeah. I'm going to put the rest of this stuff in here because I don't have need for it at the moment. And um, I think peanuts come from the... It's either... Is it Soggy Garden? Peanuts might come from here. Or the one from Spruce. I can't remember. But anyways, so now that you've seen how this whole thing works, um, I will do this off camera and I'll get as many seeds as I possibly can. Um, but I also want to get the mob farm going. So that's, that's what I'm going to do next. And I'm actually just going to put this stuff in here and I'll sort it out later. There we go. Throw that away. I'll come back here. This is where my mob farm stuff... Go oh, let's just break the the shaded gardens. Why not? Yay! Yeah, so we're getting some nice fruit, some nice veggies. So we should be able to uh, get ourselves up to that 50 food threshold pretty quickly now that we have all this stuff. Um... So yes. So the way the hearts work in this mod pack is every 50 foods, you get a new heart until I think 12 or 11 hearts. And then you have to uh, start eating 100 different foods before it counts. So we're going to get that covered. Don't worry about that. But I think 12 hearts is pretty good. I really only need the 10 original hearts. And people used to say that you would um, lose them when you die, and now people are saying that they you don't lose them when you die. I guess it's something we're going to have to figure out. Okay, so let's get two of those. Let's get our stone, and let's get our iron. I made a ton of iron. I made a ton of copper. I need a rib bone to get the uh, uh, tin. That's the next thing. Let's switch these. Come on. There we go. 16 vector plates. We did it. So we have lots of quests to turn in, actually. Um, so I made, I put smite on my tools. We got all the gardens. That was one of them. Let's see. Vector plates. We got that. We also have our automated cobblestone. That's good. Um, useful additions. Oh, we made stone spikes. That's right. I skipped wood. I'll probably have to go back and make those. Let's see. We have energetic uh, wool. That's good. Vasky's mods, uh, digital storage, no. Sonar mods, we can do flux. Ancient magic mods, we have our hammer. Um, let's see, thermal mods, we're good. And mystical crops. Uh, oh, we need inferium coal. All right, we're a ways off from getting coal. Uh, buy, buy loot chests. All right, let's go ahead and get some food here. I'm going to go ahead, one of you. Oh, no, 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 don't... Uh, just grab the duplicates here. Tomato, spice leaf, coffee bean. You just eat coffee beans? Oh, something I should tell you about the fish. What's important about the fish is that when you um, eat, when you cook them, they all turn into cooked fish. Uh, so it doesn't matter what it is. It always turns into cooked fish, this one. So... If you want the different types of food, you have to eat the raw versions in order to get credit for it, right? Didn't I eat one? Yeah, I ate that one. So it's important to eat the raw versions in order for them to count towards your... <gasps> oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's good. That's how you get slime. And then, wait a minute, you can make a slime sapling with that, can't you? With life infusion. Oh no, that's slimy dirt. I can make blue slime with that, or purple slime with that. Slime ball. And sap. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm not going to eat the jellyfish. Uh, let's see. Not eaten yet. I mean, hold on, wait a minute. Is that worth saving? No, it's just a snowball and eight plant matter. No, screw that. Okay. <laughs> Eat the jellyfish. Uh, let's grab one of those. One of those. That's poisonous, isn't it? Raw fish. Oh. We'll try it. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> I knew about this. Still counted, though. 
Still counted. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Poison four. Woo. Okay, that's fine. It's going to drain our hearts pretty quickly and we'll be able to eat some more. So this is all part of the plan. Soybeans. Let's run around. How about that? Yeah, drain my hunger. Do it. I need my ninth heart. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ow. <laughs> That's a heck of a poison. Jeez. <laughs> okay, it's gone. Let's go ahead and eat some more. Brussels sprout. Wait. You were a double, right? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> I got owned there. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. All right. So the thing I wanted to test out with these uh, vector plates is over here. I wanted to put them facing at the... Okay. Look at that. I can hit... Oh, I was going to get into the math of why... Yeah! Put your stuff in here. Okay, um, the math of why I smite was good. Uh, first of all, it's the only modifier I really have access to at this point. But also, um, if you have a stone sword, it has higher attack. A stone sword ha uh, has much higher attack than a... Well, not much higher, but slightly higher attack than a flint sword. So flint's a step down, except it has crude. And you see how it's crude 3. That means plus, I think it's 15% damage to unarmored uh, mobs. So it does more to creepers and skeletons and all those. Uh, zombies, on the other hand, are armored. So it doesn't actually... It's just less damage than the stone one. You don't actually get a benefit. So... Um, I added smite, so now I can like two shot zombies, and uh, it was cheap, and I don't see this sword being my long term sword, so I don't care that I've wasted a modifier, so I think it's I think it's fine. All right, so now I'm gonna test the thing. I've thought, so I have 16 vector plates, right? So it used to make sense to me to go out eight from here on both both uh, columns here and fill it in, and so then there's a part where the mobs can just move, and then there's a part where they just chill out. But I want to try something. I want to try to stagger them. So if I go like that, every other one. Like this. Up to eight. There we go. That goes very far down the, down the mob farm there. I want to see if I stagger it like this. So this one. There we go. Does this work better? There we go. So my feeling is that even though there's these gaps where they, they don't have to move, they'll get pushed by something behind them. And if they're in the middle, they are touching the vector plates the whole time. So I think that'll make the mob farm more efficient. I just want to see if that actually works. So let's... Is the sun coming up? Yeah, it is. Good. So I just want to let mobs spawn over there. So, looks like the blizz isn't moving. Have I eaten these yet? Oh, I haven't. Nice. Cool. The blizz isn't moving. That thing over there isn't moving. I don't know what that is. Zombie or something? Um, let's see. Things are despawning. All right. So the reason I brought you in for this part is because I need rib bones for tin. Tin, alchemical, ore dust. So rib bone. It's just a skeleton drop. It's a rare drop from a skeleton. And I think that it should be... Okay, obviously they're not... It's not working for them. What if I lead them over here? Hi. Over here. No, there isn't enough volume of mobs here to actually make that work. Maybe if I do back up a little bit and just let it run. 
Okay. No. No. Not really. Some things are moving. It just needs to be so much more full than it is. For that to work. Okay. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel that. I'm gonna cancel that idea. That's alright. That's what I was testing. No, no, no. I mean, it kind of works in theory, but in practice, there just isn't enough mobs to push them like I thought there'd be. Yeah. That's okay. The cool thing about this mob farm is that um, because things get... Um, because things get automated, it actually makes it easier to add vector plates because you get sugar way more often. Okay. Uh, pickaxe. That's fine. This is all good for testing. It would have been good if that worked, but it just didn't work. Okay, so I'm going to go in and fill the gaps in here. And it's going to be like the mob farm I'm used to. So I go uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one needs to go away. There we go. And then we come over here and we put these in like so. Yeah, also the mob drops stop in those uh in those cracks. So that's not good. All right, so that should work on just this part of the mob farm, um, which is better than nothing. It's slightly automated, right? There we go, creeper. Are they dying or are they? Oh, there we go. The basalts pushed him into the spikes. So they can kind of hang out a little bit. But if something comes in and pushes them, it's good night, I rain. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. Alright, so that's a slightly automated mob farm. So, for the last part of the episode, uh, which has admittedly taken much longer than I expected, um, I am going to add... All this stuff back here. Raw sardine. Let's go. Nice. Oh, you. You aren't the sword. You're the pickaxe. Okay. So, I want to get set up for bronze. I said we were going to do bronze last time, but we're getting close to time out here. So, let's get um, let's get started on bronze, because there's a, a furnace that we need. Alloy furnace to make the bronze. So, that's uh, refined iron ingots around two furnaces. So, that is... Um, let's see. I have... Okay. Let's grab a stack of that. Let's go ahead and make... Actually, that's for one furnace. That would be for two furnaces, and this would be the leftover for the the sand for the Kamenite. So, um, let's see. I need, what, one set of Kamenite? I think so. Do I have a grinder? I thought I had a grinder, like, this episode. That's okay. Um, I always go for the uh, the compressed grinder. It's just way better. Uh, nine. Like this. Like that. Boom. There we go. And we got gravel. And we got sand. And I have dirt. Um, how much clay do we need? We need four. So that's one. Awesome. Oh, you're empty. Nice. Okay, so we are going to make ourselves two furnaces. I already made the Kamenite plate for one. I like that. Let's get ourselves some dirt, which I do have. 
and we need our combustion components for wood. So, yeah, this is awesome. I'm really happy with this mob farm. It's lucky we found those, uh, that I found the sugar. Oh, here's some glass bottles. I wonder if those are the ones, well, they might, those are probably from a witch. But I wonder if those are the ones that I had somewhere and I left them. Um, what was I getting? Gunpowder, two of them. Great. So this alloy smelter works like a regular furnace. Um, oh, we should be making the 22. It's 22, right? Because each of these requires 8, so that's 16 plus 6, 22. So I will throw that in there. And then I will make some wooden heat components. There we go. Over some, under some dirt. <laughs> okay, dirt furnaces. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. And I'll be back once this is done smelting. Okay, so we're back. We need our little furnaces here. No, 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 no. There we go. With you. Iron furnace. Uh, I'm not sure how the iron furnace works, but if it's anything like uh, in Industrial Craft 2, which is what Tech Reborn is kind of looking like, um, then it smelts 10 things for one coal or charcoal rather than eight. So it's slightly more efficient. There we go. Basic alloying furnace. I'm going to throw that down here. Why not? And it runs off of uh, charcoal, just like uh, just like this thing. I'm actually going to break this up here and throw that in there. And all you do is you throw in the alloy you need. So we need bronze, right? So let's see. Does it, is this how this works? Let's see. Um, alloy furnace. And I can say right click for uses. And alloy smelter. So yeah, copper plus tin. Three copper to one tin makes four bronze. And I've decided, I've calculated out that we need for the bronze. Uh, what do we need? We want the carpenter and the squeezer. So for the squeezer, we need one of these sturdy casings. And for the carpenter, we need one of these sturdy casings plus six bronze. Each sturdy casing is five plates. So each plate is four ingots. So that's 20. Plus two, that's 22. And then the gear itself is four more ingots. That's 16. So 22 plus 16 equals 38. So I need 38 per machine plus these six. So I need a total of 44 uh, bronze, which means I need 11 crafts of it. Wait, is that right? 11 crafts of it? That might be right. I don't know. But uh, I also need power, and I also need a way to uh, move liquids around and all that stuff. So that will be our job for next episode, definitely. I am going to continue to grow these things off camera. I'm going to continue working towards our ninth heart here. We might be getting close to some of this. Let me, uh, let's actually see if we can't get that right now. That'd be a good close to the episode to get the ninth heart. And if I get the ninth heart, I should be able to get the tenth heart quite easily because that means that I have 50 foods. I have access to 50 different foods. So that might be good. Let's go ahead and water some of this stuff. Someone's hammering upstairs. That's good. There we go. Fully grown. Fully grown. All right. There we go. Some grapes. Some um, rhubarb. Oh, I eat. I've eaten those. Haven't eaten scallions yet. Haven't eaten grapes yet. Okay. I haven't e I've eaten okra. Let's keep going. <laughs> I can eat oats like I'm a horse. Can you just eat barley? That's gross. Um, can you eat cotton? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think that's a thing. Uh, broccoli, good. Beets. We need them for sugar, but we don't need them yet. Broccoli. Man, we're getting close here. 
I can feel it. There we go. Like sesame seeds, chili peppers. Oh, I made it. I made a seed of it, but I don't think I planted it. Yeah. So, um, I'm actually gonna come back once I have my my ninth heart here because I think I'm close. But it's kind of boring here. Can I eat something poisonous again? Do I have another puffer fish? Yeah, let's do it. Here. Let's run ourselves. Oh, you know what? Best way to do it is to break a leg. There we go. There we go. Now I should be really hungry. <laughs> This is crazy. I've never actually made it to the ninth heart. I've played this pack for hours and hours, but I've never actually done this like this. I always assume that you need like a field for each crop. No, no, you don't. Here. Really mess ourselves up. Okay. This should be perfect. Okay, there we go. Ah. The leaks are done. Have I eaten you? No. Okay, good. Cotton. I haven't eaten cotton yet. <laughs> oh, can you imagine the texture of that? Oh, cotton on your tongue. Wait, I can eat, I can just eat wheat? What am I, a horse? Do horses eat wheat? No, they eat oats. Speaking of which, how are my oats doing? Let's go, oats. There we go, oats. I've eaten oats, though. Yeah, I have. Oh man, this is great. I love being sick. <laughs> oh, zucchini. That's done. Are we good? We haven't eaten that? Come on. Sweet potatoes. We've eaten those. Oh man, come on. We're oh, you know what? Bread. Bread. Uh, where's our wheat? There we go. Bread. No bread? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 bread? But dough, salt, crafting iron, flour. Oh man, this is a pain. Alright, let's power through it. We got this. I don't remember all that we needed. Um, <laughs> okay, mortar and pestle turns this into flour. I think we needed salt. Um, yeah. So salt, water, mixing bowl. I can use crafting water for that. Gonna. Mixing bowl, salt, crafting water, flour. Makes dough. Dough plus... Um, oh, bakeware. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay. Um, let's see. I'll be back once I have nine hearts. Do I, do I get set on fire if I eat this? Oh, look at that, nine hearts. Yes, we did it. We did it. It's down here. It's the ninth heart. Woo! Okay. So, I'm going to repeat that process until it no longer requires 50, and it instead requires 100. Um, so we can get a bunch of hearts going here. But that's actually going to do it for this episode of Modern Skyblock 2. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!